Typhoon. He can't deal with crime. He's had enough time. Sad and God, it's time for you to go. We want to do crowdfunded to fly a, a blimp of City Khan uh, and today we've done it so I think it's gone to plan um, eventually it was a long process to get there but it, it, it's gone well it's been a nice crowd and um, yeah and uh, with the crowdfunder did all of that money go on making the blimp or have you got anything left no, over? No no so what we're looking to do is put it into something positive which is make London safe again and give victims of crime a platform in London and, and really highlight the crime in London at the moment um, I see. it's obviously a serious issue so are you working with any other organisations um, that do things around crime? Have you partnered uh, with anything Yeah, like I mean, we, we have been. Um, today we actually planned to, we had about 12 to 15 speakers lined up to, to speak here. Um, we were denied a stage, unfortunately, um, and it's not quite fair on people who, you know, who have been victims of crime to be talking about their ordeals through a loud hailer. So what we're looking to do is possibly do another event, but also get them involved and give them a platform down, you know, further down the line. I see. And um, have you got any idea who you'd prefer to have as a mayor? Not really. Just uh, someone who tackles crime. Okay. And what sort of policies would you like them to introduce? Well, I think first and foremost, um, Sidney Khan's approach to, to crime in London is very weak. Um, obviously, he campaigned on stopping the stop and search, and we've seen that it's, all it's had is disastrous consequences. So we need to stop the political correctness, um, and uh, you know they need to bring that back and make London safe again. Yeah, my name's Lee, and I'm from uh, well, I'm from East London, but I'm currently living in North West London. Okay, and uh, what do you think of the blimp? Uh, I think it's amusing. Yeah, I, I think it's good, like, to get this guy back. You know what I mean? You know, and they're the ones that are losing their safe space now. You know what I mean? So, uh, karma's a you know what? Okay, so um, what are your thoughts on Sadiq Khan? Um, I think he's an embarrassment. Uh, he's an embarrassment to this city. Uh, he, he, he let. He's all right with other people coming in that shouldn't be in the country, but he's gonna, he's gonna like, you know, be, be all up in arms about Trump, yeah? And that aside, what, what matters most more, though, is the amount of crime that's been going on, and that, a lot of black gangs now going back and forth for warfare, stabbing each other, snatching phones off of people on beds, chucking acid over people, you know what I mean? All this third world is starting to appear on our streets. Gun crime's gone up, knife crime's gone up, burglary, you name it, it's all gone up. So it's an embarrassment to this city. What would you like uh, a new mayor, if, if we had one, to do about that? Uh, well, it, what more, new policies would you want to see to deal with crime? Well, didn't he stop, st uh, stop and search because of political correctness? Well, I think he actually said stop and search was a valuable tool for police to be able to well, do. Was, wasn't they like saying you're picking on black people? Yes. Yeah. I think it's a bad time we chucked political correctness in the garbage where it belongs. That's well, what so I think. Khan hasn't stopped stop and search, though. He said police should have confidence to do that. Well, if you're gonna if you're gonna use one line as like London's the most safest city in the world, and there's nothing there to show of it, we're going backwards. And what else did you say? Terrorist attacks are just part and parcel of living in a big city now. Yeah, the I know. It's ridiculous. The man's it's an embarrassment. Out. There's there's loads of um, ISIS fighters coming back. We don't know where they're at. We don't know what's going on. Nothing's changed, you know what I mean? This country's on the highest alert, and um, we're just seeing more of the same stuff, but you know, it's just getting slowly but surely getting worse. It's getting more third world, and uh, it's just getting to a point where you wake up now every day and you're reading so many different like articles and things of people being stabbed and that, and you live up the road from these places. 
You know what I mean? That's the scary part about it. Uh, my name is Austin Abudo. Like I'm the founder of Fresh Off Trump here in the UK. Like and we recognised you from the Trump blip like, protest. Uh, you went to that as well, didn't you? Yes, I was here. And uh, you're here yeah. again, uh, rapping yeah. Trump. Yeah. So uh, what, why are you uh, doing this at the Sadiq Khan? Uh, we are here to reaffirm what Trump is saying, that London is no longer a safe place. And you find out that ever since yeah. Sadiq Khan has been the mayor yeah. of London, the rate of crime have, have increased double that of New York and uh, Chicago in the United States. Every day we experience a lot of killings, robbery, burglary and raping all over the city. This shows that they can have lost his bearing. Well, those figures that showed London had more crime than New York were only over a couple of months. Yes. So do you not think they are sort of fake news maybe no, because fake over news. a long I, period of time it's, I live here it's not more I live here I was involved I live here I see what's going on all over the country yeah. all over the city and uh, as an activist here as a Trump activist in this country I move around the whole city the whole country even in prison I visit prison I'm a healthcare professional I do work in prison and I think I, say, I just go there and work and then I find out that it's disgusting it's alarming we are here today to put Sadiq Khan on notice that he has to go who would you prefer as a mayor? Uh, well, for now, we have to look back and see among the aspirants who will come out as a, as, an, as a mayor in this election and then get him elected. Uh, Labour is disgusting. Labour have failed us. When Boris Johnson was here, it wasn't like this. Things were good. I see. So, uh, so you think uh, Donald Trump's got it quite right? When yeah. He says you see, you see I tell people our message has never changed. Ever since 2015, President Trump declared that he's going to run for president. Our message has never changed. It's always right. It's just that the liberals have failed to face the reality on ground. And the issue of multiculturalism in the UK here, it's not working. Mark Shears from ABC Inflatables, who uh, made the giant inflatable Sadiq Khan balloon. And what, what do you think about the balloon? I think it's a great shape and it's one that lends itself to being made as an inflatable. We often get asked to make special shapes and they're not always suitable to make as an inflatable. Inflatables naturally want to blow round so if it's a difficult shape with sharp edges and corners or a box shape, uh, it's difficult to produce. So something like this, particularly a cartoon style, is much easier. And uh, what do you think about Sadiq Khan? Well, I don't get involved with the politics side of things because we're only the balloon makers and not being Londoners either, of course, it rather goes over our heads in the provinces. I see. So uh, you don't hold any uh, opinions on the organisers' uh, ideas about his dealing with crime or anything like that? No, we're just here as the balloon makers and operators because with special shapes it's not usually something which a client can operate themselves. Um, first of all there's the helium gas requirement because generally they'll need more helium gas than an aerodynamic shape so that's something that we organise as well and then of course because of the site location and the health and safety issues and the permissions issues generally they want a professional company to manage it on behalf of the client.